And after this, by the way, um, I'd like to hear what kind of puzzles you've discovered and that you can present as a result of your reflections and teaching at the school. Right? And we throw it open. All right? Sure. Okay. Uh, would you like to read it? Read it slow? Um, Hold it. Let me get my... Sure. Got it. <laughs> okay. Go right ahead. Right. Um, I'm at school, back at high school. I'm, at, I'm back at high school. I believe it's graduation day. Oh, good, good, good. Hold it. Go ahead. Um, but I'm in my current age, and so are my friends. You're? I'm in my current age, so like, uh, I'm 20. And 20? Yes. That's good. Right. I'm good at drawing people at 20. <laughs> Um, it feels like I'm kind of in a castle. In a cabin? Castle. Like a castle? Like a fairy castle. Like That's what I like those. Ah, yeah. Ah, right. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Um, I'm outside on a field. I'm, no one's talking to me. Um, I look, I'm looking for friends of mine, but... They seem not to be able to be found, and I feel scared and insecure to join them. Scared and insecure. Yeah. Go ahead. Once the graduation ceremony ends, people begin to leave and go to a kind of um, celebration party. Uh -huh. uh, I feel like it's not worth it and meaningful or real. Yeah. Um, uh, so I'm alone and I'm trying to find someone to talk to and I get a text from I get I get a message from a group chat that I belong to. A what? Uh, like a, a message from a group chat. A group chat. Group chat. You, like you, like you, like you, you quickly say the last two words. Oh, I'm sorry. Hear them. Slow down All a right. bit. Apologies. You do fine in the beginning, but mm -hmm. in your last sentence. Okay, so I, I get a message from my friend who's in a group chat, and she is, uh, in this situation, she says she doesn't want to gamble with another friend of mine who she's dating, saying he's too nice. Yeah. I try to look for her, but instead I find another friend of mine. I ask him if he knows anything about it. Um, he says that my female friend, who I'll just call C, I suppose, said that the guy, she di the guy she's dating thinks she he understands her, but she says that he doesn't really. And he gets, she gets mad at the guy she, he's, she's dating for trying to understand her. Uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Because? Um, for trying to understand her because she doesn't believe he can understand her. That's what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Um, at Go this ahead. point because I'm talking to the friend of mine who's talk, talking to me about this conversation, I tell him I need to go pee. And I try to give him, like, I try to give him, like, bows, like sashes, you, you know, like the ones that go on chair covers, or like the one, like linens. I try to, I give him, I try to give him that to go to the restroom, to, to go use the restroom. And um, he drops them. He drops them? Yeah, he drops the sashes. What are they? Sashes. Sashes. Like, like the ones that go on chairs are the ones that you just like, that you, you make like nice bows out of to go on like uh, de Sashes. De decorational ones, yes. Decor okay. Ribbons. Ribbons, 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 more so, but like, yeah. Bows? Bows, yeah. Okay. Um, and he drops them. Uh, I don't want to leave them on the floor, so I pick them back up. And I pee 
and I f- and then I wake up and I'm scared. Like phys- like I physically wake up and I'm scared. Good. Great. Right. What do you make of it? Um. Right. First, you're, see, first always your reflections. Mm-hmm. I I actually kind of already ran through this stream, but I I don't know if I got. That's what okay. I went. As you. Okay. I um. One of the things that I noticed um, when I was go talking when I was talking to my friend about like the dating situation mm-hmm. was that I felt involved, like like there was a sense of realness to the situation. Yeah. So um, you got involved maybe with her, or in that discussion. Maybe both. Okay. Good. 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 good, good. Um, yeah. Prior to that, there's a sense of kind of almost um, kind of fogginess, like uh, kind of like it, it's va- everything kind of feels vague. Yeah, but what did that do to you? What did that do to me? Yeah, that was kind of vague, right? Right. Prior to this. Yeah. 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 Uh, because is that similar to the way you started out? Yeah. Yeah. The vagueness was how I started. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And also, there's a there's a there's a context to the wedding sashes because my yeah. family runs like a wedding business, and it's something I was kind of born into and raised into. Oh. 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 So it was important that it was a, it was uh, a party, right? Possibly, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 same kind of, yeah, yeah, same kind yeah. of environment. Yeah. Well, could you say more, or before I ask you a question? Um, When I was reflecting back on like that specific conversation, I noticed that I was kind of like the conversation from the with, message from yeah, her. Yeah, from the yeah, with my friend about the message from her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that I felt like engaged and excited. Like like personal like personally engaged. Yeah. 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 Um, that's much different than the other events. Yeah. Yeah, what's that like being personally engaged? Like, what, how did it affect your mm. state of mind? How would you describe it? There's a kind, uh, like I'm mean, like, I'm focusing. Hmm? Like, there's a kind of focusing to it. Yeah. What does that do to you? Yeah. I, um, yeah. That's um, good. Okay. Focused. What does that do to me? Um. See, because before you said, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you were aware of that vague state and that, that was running through the early part of the dream, mm-hmm. but now you're focused. No, it no. stops me from searching. Hmm? It stops me from searching for... Sure, that's right. Yeah. That's the consequence of right. it. Yeah, that's true. But what was it like being there at that moment in the dream? Like, what is it like? In the dream, there's that moment where you're personally engaged, you're focused on it. What does that do to you? Like, I was excited. But, yeah. And it felt meaningful. You, you did this right. in the chest, or? Like, I don't... Meaningful, right? Meaningful, but... Yeah. There's a kind of, like, emotional intensity involved. Good, good. Um... um Eager. Almost. Yes. Yeah. That would be there. Eager. Yeah. Positive. Yeah. Positive. Yeah. yeah really positive. Right. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. right. Different yeah. from all the other encounters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, say, what did it do in the dream when you discovered that uh, she didn't want to talk to the person or engage in the person she was dating? 
because she recognized he didn't he didn't have the capacity or he he didn't understand her or didn't understand what understanding was what did that do did I grasp it correctly yes okay I felt like she was right huh? I felt that she was right in yeah, her judgment yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. See that similar is that see that's going along the same line, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that like a doorway into this state you you just described? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. one of the things I noticed was that the the text yeah. message was like it was like it like it was a doorway to a kind of sense of meaning mm -hmm. that I wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but in reflection it it, it wasn't the kind of meaning that I was really, really searching for. It almost felt like a kind of distraction. To okay. Me in reflection. Okay. She was right, and you could accept that. Yeah. But this was a kind of a distraction mm -hmm. from what you discovered later. Like when you were personally involved and found it meaningful. Yeah. Like I wanted the person, like the personally meaningful thing. That that whole situation with my friend and with the met and group message felt like a distraction yeah. okay. from searching for like. I guess more meaning. Okay, right, 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 right. Yeah. See, each one of these events in your dream, mm -hmm. we could ask the same thing, like, uh, uh, when your friend dropped the statue, what did that do to you? See, we could get a right. description of that, couldn't right. we? Right. 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 We could get a description. Uh, that you didn't want it left on the floor. That mm -hmm. could be a mm -hmm. state of mind. These mm -hmm. are different states of mind, aren't mm -hmm. they? Right? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, when you saw those people going to the party and you didn't think it was worthwhile, it wasn't real to you, mm -hmm. that's a state of mind you can describe, right? Mm -hmm. These are all states of mind, mm -hmm. right? And uh, what, what, uh, it's a graduation, right? But it lacked meaning. Yes. Right. So, even from the beginning of the graduation day, that too, you're in a state. Right. Mm -hmm. These are different states of mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, you wanted to know from your friend. You wanted to know about her. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was that like when you wanted to know about her? And of course, you're curious, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, does that indicate you might follow up, depending on what kind of answer you get? No, or, I, I, I think I just. I think I actually just wanted to know, almost like about I, her. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the situation. Yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I didn't. I, I didn't have the answer in mind when I was asking him about it. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay. So then you, what do you call it? Curious or just, what word would fit it? Curious. But I don't want to use my term. So. I kind of nosy, nosy, like nosiness. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, uh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same. You see, we can take these, right? Like I can number them. Mm -hmm. Right. One, uh, two, mm -hmm. uh, three. Text message what you hear about her for, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the distraction, that's a state of mind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you got involved with both her and the discussion, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a state of mind, we can call that five, right? Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight, right? right. Now, so look here, we could do this, you see. Mm -hmm. Right? We could one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. We could rank them in terms of the degree to which you find this, this state of mind you're in, uh, personally engaged, uh, you're focused, it's meaningful. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to grade that from one to ten in your states of mind, which one, would that be higher than all the others? Or more intense or more meaningful? See, if we, if we want to rank these in terms I, of meaning... Right. I, I think... I think six was the most meaningful. Okay. But six. I felt like the text message itself was what transferred me. It was what, kind of like what woke me. So it's this one, what you call nosy. Yeah. That was a high. Yeah. Yeah, right? And what was that like? Can you put words on that one? Um, Um, like I felt involved. Good. In involved. Significant. Like. Significant. Yeah, yeah. Like important to the situation. Um. See, that did something to you, see? Right. Uh, what words would you put on it? If you had to put a, words on that state of mind that you called high. In it's the a dream. state of it's, it's in yeah. the dream. You're trying to recall mm -hmm. in the dream what it was like mm -hmm. at that moment. Mm -hmm. it, it's a state of meaning, I suppose, but like it's meaningful. Yes, I'm yeah. with you. Yeah. See, see, you have two things that are meaningful. Mm -hmm. How would you compare them? Which is which, which is greater? higher? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, mm -hmm. isn't that the state when you're you want to know about her? Yeah. Right. So that's high, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. So what did you think you might have seen in her that got you interested in learning more about her? Like what? What did you see about that message? Because she didn't appear in the dream. Right. Right? Right. I think I wanted to be supportive. Hmm? Supportive. Yeah, well, like, su like, I wanted... Like, I wanted to be supportive. I'm with you. For her... Because she needs help. Yeah. Right. right. You want to be supportive. Um, again, I could ask you, mm -hmm. when you're in that state of mind, what is that like? So you're using your mind in this right. dream, mm -hmm. aren't you? Mm -hmm. See, these are different degrees which you're using right. your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a mm -hmm. high one. Mm -hmm. And you're contrasting it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you agree that change, that's a big change that yeah. occurred in yeah. the dream? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, say, I forgot to ask you. Uh, what happened then when you left to take a pee? See, look here. Right. This is all meaningful from here, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. uh, what, is that, what did that do to your previous experience. That cut it off, didn't it? Right. Right. And then you got involved with your friend in that statue. Yeah. It was the it was the family sashes. Like, family like Sa sashes? Like oh, from fashion. Sashes. Like wedding sashes. 
You know, like, like sashes you tie on the back of a chair. Yeah. Like, or, like sashes, like long ribbons like you tie on the back, back of the chair. chair. Oh. For a formal yeah. event. Oh. Yeah. It's part of the the family wedding business. Oh. I didn't know that. Sashes. What's it called? Sashes. sashes. That's the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sashes. Something new. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So he, then he dumped it. He didn't. He didn't dump it. He just kind of couldn't. He just didn't. Couldn't catch it or didn't want it. Right. Couldn't catch it. Right. Right. And it landed on the floor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And. You wanted to I, retrieve I, it. Yeah, I wanted, I, yeah. I had to pick them up. I had to pick it up. Yeah. Why? Come on. Um, so you're on a different mission now, mm -hmm. right? You're, you're on a different mission. Right. Uh, it, could this be a tangent from that? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Because I I introduced that idea. I. For me, it always felt like when I reflected on it, it was like. Some, it was almost like bringing me back to reality. A different kind of reality. Than this. Yeah, but. Yeah, a different yeah. kind of reality, but my normal reality. Okay, then this is return to normal. Yeah. Right. Look what you gave up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Right, you gave it up. Mm -hmm. Like it might have gone on. Mm -hmm. But that this. Mm -hmm. Right? The return to normal reality. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Therefore, where would you put seven and eight? Pretty down, huh? Normal. Mm -hmm. huh? Normal, but ab I, I still feel like above original, like or above like the original position. Okay. Off. That's very similar to the original state. Yeah, it's similar. Right. Okay. So, look at seven and eight. Mm -hmm. Go back to one and two. Right. Mm -hmm. One, two. Right. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this. Their dream is is. Re returning to your normal reality, what breaks through it, and then you return to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And would you agree? Uh, you're using your mind differently, mm -hmm. right? Four, mm -hmm. five, six versus these others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Say. So, um, You'd likely have had this high state of mind in the past. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, frequent? Not frequent? Rare? Where? Um, less than normal. Huh? Less than... Uh, more dull than focused, I suppose. More? I feel more dull than focused. Or more, more dull than highs. Yeah. 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 Um, See, as you look upon it, mm -hmm. right, you've had that experience in the past, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, how would this compare to all of your past experiences of things that were similar? See, the thing is, like the text, like this is actually a real scenario occurring that just like, occurred over like a month ago. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. It picked up something in your past. Yeah, recent, like. Yeah, recently. Or so then at the, same time. the dream is reflecting on your past in the dream. Mm -hmm. Or you're reflecting on your past in the dream. Better yeah. way to put yeah. it. Yeah. What is that? Uh, I was going to, yeah, yeah. Would you answer my question then? Other times I felt that similar. Like, is it way up or down? Or? Near the top. Okay. Somewhere in here, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Say, is it possible that uh, 
your friend who did this, was he aware of the state of mind you were in? Yes. Or he was? Yeah. If he was aware of it, then what is he doing to that state? Encouraging it? Yeah, he's encouraging it. Or getting you back to normal reality? What would you say? Encouraging. Hmm? He, he continues like the high state. He encourages but you it. called it return to normal reality, and this is, doesn't appear to be normal reality, does it? I felt that the return to normal started when I had to, like, was the peeing. No, yeah, okay. Rather than the friend himself. Oh, okay, okay. So then, wait a minute. Yeah. Then this could be separate, right? The peeing is normal. And then your reaction to him continued this prior state? I, I didn't talk to him. I just told him I had to use the restroom. Yeah, okay, right. okay, okay, yeah. So, um, just have one question for you. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, uh, ideally, what should you have done on this high state? Ideally, what... I... Uh, let's call her Mary, okay? Mm -hmm. Just to put a name on yeah, her. Yeah, Mary. Okay. Huh? Okay. Mary, okay. Um, ideally, what would you have liked to have said or have done at that moment? You're on the high, so you're in the high. Because are you finding out yourself, or are you finding out from others about her? Others. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. what do you make of that? So ideally, uh, finish it. I think ideally I'd actually like to go talk to her afterwards. What, what? Like, talk to her afterwards, when there was like a more oh. suitable time. Oh, I see. Okay. <coughs> so it would have gotten you directly involved. Yeah. Oh, what's that like? Do you have to make that step? Um, to get directly involved? I think partially frightening. Yeah, a little bit frightening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to overcome that fear then to, mm -hmm. to engage Mary, right? Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, what's that fear like? Right. What's what's that? Where does it hit you physically? Right. Some people get it in different parts of their body. I, or, yeah. Um, I think in my neck and my throat, chest okay. area. Neck, yeah. neck and throat. Yeah. Okay. I'm good at drawing neck. <laughs> Right? And throat, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. As if what? That's an interesting state, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, could you put words on it? <laughs> it's hard, I know, I know. Um, but you're familiar with that state, yeah. aren't you? Let me ask you a question about that state, right? right? You've experienced that state mm -hmm. quite a bit in your life, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, see, it, it played a role in your whole life, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Can you recall an early event in your life when you experienced that very same fear? How old were you? I think I was, I think it started when I was six, and it six? was my... No, it's up to you if you want to explore this. Okay. Do you? because I'm going to ask you questions about it. Sure. Okay, all right. What was going on? Um, I had started first grade for the first time. And, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, first time. Go ahead. Um, I hated being there for the first few months, and 
I remember for I think basically up until from September to December, I used to cry daily up until noon, mm-hmm. and then I stopped after noon. Afternoon it ended. Afternoon it ended. And then what happened? Um, then, then was okay. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. 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 I used to feel like I was uh, imprisoned. Good, good, good. That's what it is. Right, it's like being in prison. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> right. That's it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ever tell your folks that? Yeah. What'd they do when you told them? It's like um, going to prison, Mom, Dad. Uh, when I was a kid, my yeah. dad would tell me, I, I, it's, it's just what you have to do because I go to work and this is your job. That's your job? Yeah. Oh, what did that do to you? I didn't want to, but... Yeah, it's your a, job. There's nothing else I do could it. do. Right? Right. And a lot of times I was afraid of the teachers and the administrators. Sure. And to, right. ex- to extension, like... Like... Like the police, too, because they kind of almost like... I felt like they would, like there's like a kind of record. If you don't follow, pay attention, then you go up and up. And there's just kind of like, at some point, like you get... Sure. Strong armed by police. Sure. And there's a sense of. Uh, yeah. Check. What did you think of the. At that time, what did you think of your parents and what they, how they responded? It's your job, do it. What did that show you? What did that show you? I think at the time, I think they were being. I think they understood that I was struggling, but uh, they, didn't, they didn't know any better because better, they, they, they didn't know any better because they grew up in uh, Mexico. So you saw something, though, in them at that moment. Yeah. What? A kind of honesty. Huh? A kind of honesty. Like they were being... Like, kind of honest? Honest. What's um, the word? Compassionate also. Compassionate Com- and honest. Oh, they're showing compassion when they're doing this? That's clever. Isn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, go to prison. I'm going to show you some compassion. Right? It just kind of seemed like that was how it is. Yeah, it's like that's reality. Yeah. 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 So then that state of mind, they're telling you, that's it. Stay in it. It's your job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that a nice teaching? Mm, no. What? Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, with all that mixed uh, compassion, that's, uh, that leaves you with what? A sense of conflict? Defeated. Going to prison. Right. Right? Here goes your school, you're going to prison, so you can work through that for several hours. Mm-hmm. No help, right? Right. <laughs> Until noon, and then you could maybe break through for a while. Right. But then the next day, the same thing happens again and again. Right. And they could give you the same advice. Right. Hey, ideally, what, what should you have told them, if you could have, at that moment? I don't know. Sure you do. Ideally, what should you have told them? You see what they're doing? It's your job. Do it. Go to prison. Is it? See, you have to answer that. You're right. Right, it's a difficult question. I know it, okay? Mm-hmm. We both know it. It's a difficult right. time. But ideally, what would you have liked to have said at that moment to them? Like as of me now? Yeah, but make believe you're a kid. Go ahead. <laughs> To just kind of let me be. Mm. More, come on. Um, that is not worth it, and none of the actual teachers actually really care. There's a kind of um, yeah. there's a kind of monotony to them. Oh, so 
you're, what are you they're, saying they're, about the, the, is there, are they giving an appearance of compassion? The teachers are. And, the, and your family. I don't, I don't know if they, because I don't, I don't know if they knew. Well, that's okay, but the, well, how are they acting? Hmm? Like they're doing their best. Who, hey, <laughs> you know, many people go to hell doing yeah. their best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put it in words. What do you say? Um, hey, mom, pop. Hey, teacher. I got news for you. Finish it. Like they're just like in a weird sense, like they're just as stuck as I am. Do it again. They're just as stuck as I am. Uh, uh, See, so try to answer this. All right, they just said it. Right. It's your job. Do it. You would say to them that none of this is worth it, and it sure as hell doesn't look like it's worth it. Yeah, and to some extent. What they're working for isn't worth it either, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. See, are they telling you the limit of their understanding? Yeah. So you discovered something as a kid, see? Mm -hmm. The limit of their understanding and compassion. Mm -hmm. Is it worth putting into words what you might say at that moment then? That no one else really seems to know what they're doing. I'm better off on myself, on my own, trying to figure things out. That's true. That's true. To trust my own development? Yeah. Yeah. Now that becomes normal. Right. That plays a role in your, your life. It's, it's still, you're still in prison. Yeah. But you broke through. You see, your, your dream is telling you that you broke through. Right? Look at that. You broke through. Mm -hmm. It's still playing a role, mm -hmm. but would you agree? Yeah. 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 So what did you tell them? So you discovered something meaningful. Could, could they offer any? No. So what are you going to tell them? Hey, mom, pop, teacher, you know what? I found something more fulfilling. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's better. Something that can actually help me grow. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Uh, you could point out that they reach the limit of their own... Understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Well, that, yeah. Yeah. Right in that moment. Mm -hmm. And that continues. Hey. This is what life is. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just a job. Mm -hmm. Just do it, damn it. Mm -hmm. and, oh, but they look good. Compassion. They Compassionate. Show comp yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is, is that <laughs> That's their limit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I even felt that that kind of, that they, that they didn't know any more than they could but, a, long, like, a long time as a child. Like that, 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 that was kind of on my own to some extent already. And, and how? I was still stuck. Right there. Yeah. And I kind of knew that from yeah. a really young age. But you see, your dream mm -hmm. is saying you, can, you broke through it. Mm -hmm. But now you have to risk engaging mm -hmm. on a more meaningful level, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And to think about that, that brought back the state, mm -hmm. which we now explored. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you have the mind for it, right? You understand? Right. Mm -hmm. You're in the high. Therefore, finish it. I know where to search. Good. Yeah. And now you have to decide whether you want to get over that fear. Yeah. But their fear was there. Hey, one last question. Why? Right. Were they afraid themselves and didn't know what to answer? 
Yeah. Did you pick up their fear? Yeah. Not yours, it's their fear. They don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had a lot of, because um, they had a fear of cops. They had a fear of kind of like, of just kind of like bureaucracy and like DMV people and just IRS and they just had a big, because running their own business, they were always kind of like just afraid of just getting tacked on. Yeah. 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 See, you were doing better seeing than they were doing. Right. And now you have your opportunity to break through it, don't you? Right. And you know what you, what you're gonna what you're gonna get into. Yeah. More meaning, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Fun. <laughs> this is yours. So that's the game we play every right. Friday night. Do you, want a con- do you want more context to that? Well? All right, so I actually, I, I live in Downey. Do you know where that is? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's lo- close by. Yeah, close by. How close? Um, 25 minutes. All right. Yeah, yeah. And I actually was terrible at school up until about, I think, seventh grade, eighth grade. And I, I felt kind of... Um, undervalued by both like teachers and like just in general like the administration yeah that's the school yeah and but that that made me personally angry at like institutions and yeah. like, and like just other people in general yeah so from that point on i kind of became like the top student and like yeah. from like middle school to high school mm-hmm. and then i when i was about to graduate i didn't care about where i was going to school or what my major was and i just kind of continued with like engineering because it felt like it made money and it was it did something, but I didn't really yeah, I didn't feel the a, meaning. Yeah, education is yeah, getting yeah. a job. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel the meaning. Yeah, and I had felt the meaning prior in my life um, mm-hmm. because through YouTube I'd watch like videos of like um, I guess more spirituality, but specifically sure. like sure. Um, more Jungian and Reiki and thought about how to get more yeah. in touch with yourself. Yeah. And uh, so I, I didn't feel the meaning, so I just went to UCLA, mm-hmm. and then throughout mm-hmm. the entire year I felt like a kind of sense of alienation. Yeah. It, it felt really prestigious, and at the same time, it felt more like, it felt like, it just felt like a kind of summer trip. Yeah. It, it lacked a kind of, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's that state they put you in. Yeah. Yeah. Say, ideally. Right. There are, hey, there is a way of dealing with your children to help them in that kind of transition. Right. It's a hell of a transition, isn't it? Right. Like you're a kid, and you're in the family, and you're having a little fun, and now suddenly... Mm-hmm. It's a totally different reality, right? And they didn't prepare you for it. Oh yes, they did. They told you it was a job. Do it. Yeah. What do you think of that as a preparation? <laughs> so now you see you have the opportunity to now explore human relations, right. your own mind. Right. Yeah. Good. good. Fun. Yeah. You're ready for a little fun, aren't you? Um, there's like two more years onto that, though. Because uh, I, I actually withdrew from UCLA my second year. And then following that, I had a giant existential spiritual crisis. And I had uh, terrible dreams. Um, terrible dreams. And I, I, I had a weird kind of... My perception of things changed mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. I quit. Like, it was, part of it was, like, like, I always thought it was partly because of the stress of the situation. Mm-hmm. But, like, even, like, the, like, everything changed. Like, everything felt mechanical. Like, I remember um, waking, because like, I had, like, a two-day panic attack for 40, like, a straight two-day panic attack. And in that panic attack, I was just afraid, but also, like, profoundly guilty. Like a sense of personal guilt. Yeah. And after that, I when I, after that state, mm-hmm. I was in a kind of sense of like everything. I, f- I felt like everything that I believed in was illusory entirely. Yeah. Yeah. And I f- and I didn't know how I was waking up every morning. Like mm-hmm. I, everything felt absent. I felt like I was kind of like in a void. Empty. 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 Yeah. And when I would look at other people, like everyone's habits and everyone's 
like the way they talked and the way they thought and the way they did things seemed robotic, like zombies. mechanical zombies. And but when I would look at like when I would go out for walks in the evening and I'd go look mm-hmm. at the trees, everything seemed like I had like a kind of vibrancy and a kind of like yeah. vital. Yeah, there's something real in nature. Yeah, yeah, spirit. Yeah. yeah. And then that's how I got me more into looking at looking for like other communities. That's how I eventually described the community yeah. that yeah. found me here. Yeah. Good. And yeah. That was a nice adventure. Yeah. You recovered. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nature helps. Yeah. It does. Yeah. I actually yeah. went back to school the following year. All right. Yeah. And how did you do after that? Um, so the first, the first term, I actually did well, but I, I was kind of motivated more so by a kind of like, uh, a kind of fear and a kind of anger again, just mm-hmm. to do well. And then the second term came, and I think somewhere at the beginning of the week, I had a profound realization that I was over this. It was a state of clarity, and I was looking at everyone else, and I'm like, I think I'm done here. Mm-hmm. And I just left mm-hmm. after that quarter. Yeah, yeah. And I've been just in my own interests. You were what? Just been in my own interests, like my own like oh. hobbies and researching. Okay. Yeah. What are they? Um, I was in my own interests for like, or like studying, like going back and reading wisdom traditions and um, what? Re- reading wisdom tradition books. Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Like Plato? Uh, Plato, yeah. Okay. But um, also the book recommendations that are like in the group that I was belong, that I belong to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, picking up journaling more and at the same time I noticed the same kind of trend of like the kind of emptiness in the way things are going Mm -hmm. in my friends and that they kind of see it too. Mm -hmm. So I've just kind of also been like um, I guess supporting them with the techniques that I picked up. And then, Mm -hmm. you know. And you're 20 years old? Yeah. And you've done all that? Yeah. Finish it. <laughs> Come on. You must have graduated from high school. You must have done really well and gotten out early or something, no? No, no, no. I, I graduated. This all happened in about two years. Wow. Well, what did you hear? It all happened in two years. That's right. Doesn't it take much. All right. <sighs> Great. Good show. Hey, good. good fun, Thank right? You. Thank you. What do you think? Nice. Huh? All right. Wow. <laughs>